So guys, uh, I don't know if you've been reading my blog or reading it in depth. But um, anyway, you know the big announcement came. My husband ETS out of the active duty army uh, about mm, about four weeks ago. He's in the National Guard now. He enlisted in the National Guard and he's trying to go active guard, but that's a long process. So, you know, um, a few people that noticed had emailed me and asked me, because I guess their husband's are ETSing too, how do I like the transition? Well, quite honestly, um, I'll plan on going more de in detail about the ETS itself. I have to say the transition for me was a little bit hard feeling like oh I'm not part of the military family but then I thought about the wife who wrote that article about National Guard wives not being real wives and I was like you know what if the people who read me are true to what they say then they won't even have a problem with me remaining Army Wife 101. What I will say is this though I feel like I've never really left the Army life simply because people I live in Fort Bragg I mean you can't get away from it. I live off post. I live in uh, Fort Bragg stretches like five different towns, literally. Uh, you can't get away from Fort Bragg here. The neighborhood I live in is all military, retired military, and civilians that work on post, literally. Um, when I go shopping, I go into Fayetteville. You know what I mean? Unless I'm, oh, y'all have to excuse my nails. This is some cheap nail polish and it's been peeling. Anyway, um, yeah, so I don't get away from like the military it just doesn't happen I still get to go on post I still go commissary shopping I still can go to the PX um I, I mean like I, I don't besides me not having to deal with him getting up and going to PT you know what I mean he's still possibly deploying like next year um he's got he's changing his MOS um the reason he got out well we were a victim of what's called reductions um his particular mos they weren't accepting anymore like enlistees or whatever you call it for i don't know how to explain it because it's early in the morning and he wasn't about to go from being an aircraft mechanic to a cook not nothing wrong with that i'm just saying he you know he's not about to, he wasn't about to do that so that's kind of what happened and you know the army's changing you know and and i tell people this all the time don't get to i'm pulling into my garage so i'm sorry about the darkness um So I tell people all the time, you know, don't get too, be comfortable with the military because it definitely is a stable job. But I was one of those people who was so comfortable in thinking that, oh, we're in the military. We're one of the people that will never, ever lose our jobs. And the truth is, the reductions are coming. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not going to speak what I don't know. But I will say that it, it's there. I mean, the Navy just did it. Um... I would have, my advice is definitely be prepared. We weren't really prepared because I don't think we really believed we were getting out of the military like that. So, you know, I'll give you a perfect example. I woke up on, I want to say April 1st, waiting for a check. You know, well, expecting a check to be in our direct deposit account like it had been for all these years. Would you believe there was no check there? There was no check. So we call up, we're like frantic, you know, because, uh, like the house payment was due, you know, thank God I had like, you know, my money that I earned, but we were still expecting that. Hello, BAH. And so, um, yeah, we, he goes down there and everything. What do you know? Oh, well, because you're ETSing, we mail checks out. Now this is the, the BS of the army because the funny thing is we never got a check in the mail. So I never bothered to check our other bank account because we had a bank account strictly just for our direct deposit. I never bothered to check it. So about a month later, I checked this account because they told him, oh, we're going to mail you a check. You should expect it in seven to ten days. Well, we never got this check. So we're busy calling DFAS and everything. I happen to just check this bank account. And you know, I know some people probably will be like, well, why didn't you check the account? Well, I had no reason to because we have another account like for bills and stuff. I happen to check this account. What do you know? Our money was there. Like for like sitting for like the last two or three weeks but I, w I didn't know so that just goes to show you how unorganized they are because they're telling us we're gonna get a check mailed and all this time that check was sitting in a bank account so it's just silly stuff like that I mean the transition for me I mean unless you're from like you know you're 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 in Fort Hood Texas and you're moving to the backwoods of I don't know where I, for me it's no transition because my husband is from Fort Bragg this is like the area he's from so and he's still National Guard, so it's still going to kind of feel like you're military almost, besides the fact that he doesn't have to get up and go um, to the military every day. So you're probably wondering, well, okay, so if he's not military every day, what does he do? Well, my husband, you know, and this is the other thing, utilizing the veterans program. So my husband said, you know what? 
yeah, he wants a civilian job and he wants to work on post, but it's kind of hard to do all that stuff, especially because they don't hire quickly. And unless you have this amazing savings, you need a job quick. So what he did in our particular case, what worked for us, was he, uh, what did he do? He um, used his GI Bill, some of it anyway, and he went to truck driving school. And he got his CDL license. It took four weeks. Um, it was completely paid for. It was like a $5,000 course, which is probably, uh, to me, expensive. But it was paid for. And then what happened was he got hired by a company called TMC. Really great company. Really uh, selective company. Um, he wanted to not just go be a truck driver, but he wanted to get chosen by the right truck company. And, um, to me, this is almost like, you know, I almost feel sad. This is actually harder than a deployment for me, almost. And I'll tell you why. Because with the deployment, yes, it's long and it's drawn out. But when he does come home, at least he's home for like a year or two. Besides the long days at work sometimes, you do get to see your husband every day, depending on what his MOS is. With this, right now, I just came from dropping him off. He comes home, like, this weekend, he didn't even get to come home Friday. He came home Saturday. Um, he did get to stay home Sunday. And then I had to drop him off early this morning, Monday. But normally, he's supposed to come home on Fridays and we have the whole weekend, so we don't have that. Um, but I don't see him during the week at all. So, you know, on the weekend, it's just like you're trying to cram all this time in. And, and we also have two kids, so now they want to spend time with him. And it's just like, I don't know. And because I was part of the whole, you know, military wife thing, I'm like, damn, I really don't have a right to be upset, you know, that my husband's gone all week when you have wives whose husbands are deployed. You know, so I'm battling that, that whole, like, you don't need to be upset. It's not that serious. Um, but it's good money. And it's kept us right where we were. And, you know, we still live in the same house and everything. And, um, I don't know. Life is good. It, um, I won't say it's any different because he's always away. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it's not like he's home anymore. But, you know, you have to do what you have to do to survive. You know, the military, whether we people say we make enough money or we don't make enough money, the truth is, is that... Uh, we were comfortable and um, we wanted to, you know, keep that lifestyle or go a little bit higher. So that's what that is. But I'll be talking more about it. I had to come to grips with the whole ETS thing and, you know, uh, decide how I was going to do this. But I'm still Army Wife 101. I still get to utilize military discounts and all that stuff. And I'll be putting them on here and I'll be talking about my past experiences as a military life as well as having you share some of yours so continue to visit me at armywife101.com and for more of my non-military related life visit me at randomnista that's r-a-n-d-o-m nista n-i-s-t-a dot com see you soon